Game week 18 is a perfect time to free hit and in this video I'm going to be showing you a template game week 18 free hit team that you could use if you need to use your free hit. So stay tuned to the end to see the whole team and be sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button, hit those notifications so you don't miss any more FPL content from me. Now let's get into it. So I will be using my free hit for game week 18, mainly for two reasons. One, I've got Holland in my team, and he's out, obviously. And from the sounds of it, the injury doesn't seem too bad, and he could be back um, very soon, but still out for this game week. And secondly, I just feel like, you know, uh, I've been on a slide for the past few weeks or so. I was on like 200-something K rank, now I'm down to 800K. I do feel like it'll be 700, though, because I got Gary on my bench and Holland in my starting 11, so I think I'll be go up a, be back up a little bit but yeah still uh, a pretty bad slide so I feel like I need to pick me up so using a free hit for me using a free hit uh, would be beneficial for my team at least if you if you guys are doing fine then you probably don't need to use it but for me I'd like to use it and I feel like a lot of people will be using it as well so this is a team that you could be using I feel like it's pretty good let's go into it so we got Martinez and goal Sheffield United at home uh, very easy game. Sheffield United are the worst attack in the Prem. So I feel like a uh, clean sheet is very likely for Aston Villa. That's why we've got Kansa in as well, just to double up. Obviously, if they score, <laughs> Sheffield United score, it will be very bad. But, you know, it is what it is. I've gone with Kansa, uh, mainly because Pau Torres has uh, some injury issues, you know, and Cash is not starting. So Kansa, I feel like, is a very safe bet because... He's definitely got his starting place on lock, so yeah, pretty much starts every game. Well, he does start every game, so yeah, pretty safe option. I feel like you could go with Digne as well, but he was suspended in the last game week. So will he come back in? You know, there, there's a bit of a question mark there, so that's why I've gone Kansa as the safe option. We've also got Poro against Everton at home. I do feel like Everton are very good, so this... This, this could, you know, be a bit tricky, but you know, Poro, I feel like he's very good. I've got him in my team already, so... No need to worry about him. Uh, I really like him. Hope gets forward a lot. And Spurs seem to be picking back up their form, which is good to see for FPL-wise. So Poro is a mainstay. And yeah, if you don't have him, I suggest you get Poro in your team. And we've got Trippier to round things off. Loot in a way. Obviously, get well Tom Lockyer. We don't like to see that. Hopefully, he'll be back soon. Well, let's see if he comes back. Hopefully, he does. But in the meantime, you know, Luton, I don't know. W will they be in a good mental state? You got to ask these questions for if you're playing FPL. But so, yeah, Newcastle. I either way, Newcastle is just um, a very good team and much better than Luton. So, I feel like having Trippier, he could do a lot of things against Luton. So, yeah, that's a defense. I feel like it's a really good defense. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of it. And into the midfielders, dun dun dun, look at this midfield, oh my goodness, goodness, it's so beautiful, I really like this. We've got Richarlison, yes we got Richarlison in the team, he scored three goals in two games, you love to see it. And against his former club, will he be motivated? I hope he is, because I think he'll, I'll be running him for game week 18, because yeah, three goals in two games. Hopefully he can continue this form. And yeah, let's see what happens there. We got Salah get in. We got a draw away at Anfield. Uh, you love to see it. But for FPL wise, it's not that great because Salah didn't do anything. But you know, Arsenal at home. This is a very interesting one because obviously a very tough game. Could be a title deciding game. So if Liverpool want to win that title, their best players got to perform. So Salah has to be there for uh, will perform if Liverpool want to do anything. So, yeah, and with it being at Anfield as well, the, the fans are going to get right behind their team. And yeah, I do feel like Liverpool will perform better than what they did against United. So, and yeah, hopefully it also means Salah will be doing the bits against Arsenal because I need, for FBL-wise, I definitely need it. We got Huang Hee Chen, very interesting. I Chelsea, I, uh, they, I know they won against Sheffield United. I mean, who, who hasn't won against Sheffield United? But, you know, they're, they're, overall, they're still not that good. And Wolves, I do really like Wolves. I've been looking at getting Huang in my team for a while, but I haven't really done it. But yeah, but he is worth a punt, I would say, for especially for one game week. Uh, I do feel like he is worth a punt. Uh, I With it being at home as well, I do feel like Wolves will cost Chelsea a lot of trouble. And yeah, he is worth having, in my opinion. We've still got Sun, obviously, because he is very good. He plays up front and is listed as a midfielder, so no need to really worry about him. Everton at home, obviously. 
on paper at least should be an easy game but Everton are very good like I said so we'll see what happens there I mean they are playing Everton are playing away to Spurs so it is uh, a tougher fixture so let's see how it does I still feel like Spurs will come out on top though because I feel like they are picking up their form they were on a bit of a slide but they're coming right back to form so you love to see it and finally we've got Anthony Gordon a uh, very good very good option got some very good fixtures coming up Luton game week 18 Forest at home 19 and yeah two tough games afterwards but yeah very good this season really like him I feel like he's hurt me well he's definitely hurt me not having him in the team for a while but I've got him in my main team uh so yeah looking forward to Luton away uh We've got him in the free hit team, so I'm expecting great things from Gordon. Yeah, that's the midfield. I really think it's a great midfield. And to round things off up front, dun, 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 we have got Solanke and Ollie Watkins. Solanke has uh, just been a goal machine as of late. And I expect that to continue against Forrest away because Forrest aren't that good. And Solanke is just red hot in form and yeah i don't have him in my in my main team so yeah i feel like having not having solanke for the past few weeks has definitely hurt my rank but yeah i got him in for the uh, free hit team so hopefully he will do something there and we've got Watkins, captain Watkins for our game week 18 uh that's who i feel like choosing as captain and i don't have Watkins in my team i've got darwin nunez <laughs> I've got Darwin Nunes. Why do I have Darwin Nunes? Oh my god, that guy has not been doing it for me. Oh my goodness, I need to get rid of him ASAP. And definitely, probably for Ollie Watkins, I need to find a way to get him back in my team. So yeah, and him, Ollie Watkins scoring has definitely yet another reason why my rank is so low. I need to get him back in my team. But he will be in my team for game week 18. So yeah, yeah, I'll get some points back for Ollie Watkins. I'm very, I'm pretty confident I'll get some points back for Ollie Watkins because Chef United at home uh, is a very easy game and he should be uh, scoring some goals there. So yeah, that's my team. Bench obviously in a free hit doesn't matter, so no worries there. I feel like it's a very good team and if you plan to use your free hit, you should be using something like this. And yeah, you should be... It should on paper be good for your FPL. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, hit that subscribe button, hit those notifications so you don't miss any more FPL content from me. Thank you all so much for watching. Until the next video, see ya!